Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indie Digest. Today we are looking at Riptide GP2. This is a boat racing game. Reminds me rather of Hydro Thunder, but with a little less style, maybe? Maybe that's harsh? I don't know. Um, if nothing else, this music isn't as good as the start of the Hydro Thunder, but that's all I know. Anyway. Uh, this is quite a ooh, uh, quite a pretty looking game, as you can see. The water textures are quite nice. It's all got spinny things everywhere. It, it, it's all it, it's all quite nice. Uh, let's have a look through, shall we? Um, first thing, little gripe. Uh, settings menu. It, you know, it all fits quite nice with the aesthetic. It's all you know, quite nice and all that. Uh, you know, it's got the, the separate audio sliders and all that gamepad supports. What I'm using graphics options though. Fair few options, only one problem here, it has a resolution slider, a slider, it doesn't say what resolution it is, look at it, look at that, does it say anywhere what resolution is, no, because it's a slider, what is that, seriously, okay, sorry, minor gripe, uh, because I have to record things and it has to be certain resolutions and that's why it's a minor gripe for me, but, a slider! Why a slider? Anyway, on to rather more positive things. It has split screen. Look at that, it's amazing. It has a split screen. I don't need it because I don't have any friends, but you know. <laughs> oh god, at least no friends would be interested in a boat racing game, dear me. But um, this is not my usual sort of game. But you know, I'm reviewing it because why not? Uh, the split screen, that's amazing. They don't have that on many PC games or many games of any type these days actually, even console games don't have split screen. What's a console game doesn't have a split screen? I don't know. But it does have online play, it's quite good. It has VR challenge that lets you challenge the ghosts of your friends list. I hope it's a Steam friends list, it might not be, I don't know. Probably is, I don't know, I don't have any friends that own this game. Uh, and it has a career mode. Career mode is quite good and it gives you stars which unlock new things and it gives you money which you can use to upgrade uh, your uh, let's see, I have a Stingray right now, but I can also buy a Striker, Fireball, Typhoon, Lancer, Shockwave, Hammerhead, Monta, Scorpion, or Scorpion. Is grammatically correct, because that's the last one. It's a, it's a reasonable range, you know. I have to say, uh, the Scorpion costs a lot. I don't know how much the later races earn you, but the early ones earn you about a grand each, if you win, which I don't, because I'm bad at this game. Uh, you can also paint the things, it's got a reasonable selection, let's go with a nice Saints Row purple, shall we? Um, yep, save that. Uh, male, female options, I'm pretty sure you can guess what the difference between those models are, seeing as there's only one possible difference it would actually do. Uh, but let's have a look at the actual racing, shall we, because that's the important thing. So, there's uh, quite a few circuits, I have to say, and each one has a... Well, you know, this one has four, might be more in the later ones, I don't know. I've done Milk Run, fairly boring map. Let's try Suspended, that looks a bit more interesting. So, I have to say, this is not the most in-depth simulation-y sort of racer. It is one of the most arcade-y things I've ever played, in fact. In that I have never once... It, it actually asks you at the start, do you want uh, auto acceleration or do you want to hold down the trigger? Yeah, I got the trigger. I just hold it down. <laughs> you don't need to not hold down the trigger that I found. At most you need to apply a tiny bit of brake in the bend, but you're not going to come careening off the track. It's physically impossible. I did a flip over the side. It just knocked me back in. There's a wall or something there. I don't know. Uh, but you do get to do tricks. In fact, you have to do tricks in order to gain boost, because you can't have an arcade game without a boost mechanic. Ooh, okay. What you can have, though, is an arcade game with a boost mechanic that doesn't require you to keep the boost on. Yeah, that's a boost meter you gain by doing various tricks that you do by... Ooh, dear. Uh, screw that up. By twiddling the sticks in various directions to do different tricks. I don't know if any, any tricks give more or less points. They just appear to be visual flair as far as I can tell. But you do different tricks and you gain uh, point, uh, little like pips in that top bit. Ooh, they did that too late. Oh, still fine. You gain little pips in that top bit to gain boost. However, once you hit the boost button, it will use all of the boost. All of it. See? All of it. Can we do two? No. Maybe. I don't know. Is that it? No. First lap. So, uh, it's, it is basically quite fun. 
and I will say, graphically speaking, it's a very pretty game. Look, at, I mean, look at it for an indie game. I mean, it's got the you know, it's got the nice water tech. This is better than most water textures I've seen, though. You know, it's all based on water, so they'd be pretty stupid to make bad-looking ones. But it looks quite nice. I mean, it, it, it really does. It's got the nice little glinty things. I'm not sure if it's, it sort of sort of reflects in a in a weird sort of shimmery way, which is probably oh, nearly found a shortcut. I did the shortcuts. That's uh, didn't know they were in there. And I just got air without using a ramp. Cool. So that's possible. I was half thinking that maybe uh, the ramps were some sort of hard coded. Uh, flip thing, but no, no, apparently you can just gain air if you get enough speed. Because the enemy to gain speed is a boost, I mean, you really can't expect to... You, you, don't, you don't go any faster or anything, I mean, it's a boat. It, it is the... Okay, you can flip twice if you keep holding down the thing. Don't hold down the thing. I will say I've never been a massive fan of the boat racing genre, or any racing genre, though cars have a... Cars have a good sense of speed. Boats slow themselves down by hitting water. Terribly designed machines. And I only got one star because I'm terrible. <laughs> Don't listen to me, I'm terrible. You, should, you shouldn't trust my word. Uh, ooh, I think I need... Yeah, you need six to get the next circuit. And I have three. But I have two more, so, you know. Maybe I can gain three in that. Uh, it appears to be a decent array of levels. I have to say, this one looks very similar to the first one. But it might be a little later in the day. No, no, hold on, that bend looks different. It might be different. Whoops, wasn't on another button. Uh, are there... Am I not racing? Is this a... Oh, it's a time trial. Interesting. So there's no racing lines or anything like that. Obviously, it's water. How do you get the lines to stay in place? Woo! Okay, that was a wave. We should have done a flip. Uh... So it has waves in this game. I didn't realise it was quite that in-depth. Um... Okay. Yep, yeah, sure. It's got wave mechanics. I don't know if they're procedural, probably not, probably pre-scripted, but I don't care, that's still fairly cool. Ah, oh, I will never do two flips. It's also killed by the stingray landing on top of me. Uh, but yeah, yeah, details. So I fell off once, I'm not imagining I'm going to get more than one star, it is a time trial after all. What's that? Nice, relaxing corner. Ooh, do a flip, do a flip. <laughs> hey! Yeah, it's got proper physics on the, uh, when you fall over, sort of. Not proper ragdoll, but, you know, a reasonable facsimile, seeing as the boat managed to hit me while I was in the air. Oh, that was quite cool. Ooh, I'm not, uh... Oh, third place. One star. Call it. Call it. Maybe the stars are based on what place you come in, actually. Because I think I might have got second place the first time. Skill points. Okay, the game has skill points. That's not a thing I knew about. Uh, so level one unlocked all of the basics. Uh, level two. See, lazy boy is up, up, down, down. Oh, oh. Yeah, so these show you what you need to do. So it's up, up is up on both sticks. So up, up and down, down would be sort of quick twiddle below them I suppose yeah that's um oh boy or maybe I'll just do boost one <laughs> I don't trust myself with the fancy things get, get, get available one SP buy it oh there okay I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna go with that I don't um oh there's achievements uh there's a fair few of them I suppose uh stats if you like stats there's all those stats you know, it's, it's if you like racing games, and if you're a bit hard up for boat racing games, which I imagine you are, there's not... Are there any hardcore boat racing games? Is boat racing a thing? I actually don't know. Do people watch speed boats? Is there, is there a speed road Grand Prix, or a, a Formula B for boat? No? I don't know. Probably not. Actually, no, probably is. There's a thing for everything, but it probably isn't that popular. Because boats look slow. And cars look fast. Cars feel fast and boats feel slow, but they still feel quite fun. Oi! We're back here. It, it's, a nice, it's a nice game, I have to say. I mean, it, oh, graphically, it is quite nice. I mean, it, it, it's very pretty. It runs exceedingly well. I haven't dropped a single frame. And things with water physics are 
some description. That is pretty damn impressive. Normally it causes some slight physics lag at some point, but it is it has run perfectly so far. I mean this is quite extraordinary. And it does feel like a boat. I will definitely give you that. These feel like ooh, like boats. Uh, quite floaty boats when you're doing the tricks, I have to say, but when you're just sort of sailing about sailing? Well done, yes, technically sailing. When you're just sailing about, oh god. It, it just feels like a boat. Just, you just sort of get that nice sploosh when you hit the water. Oh god, I shouldn't sail like that. Oh, there's a shortcut up there. And I shouldn't have twiddled my stick. Stop. I really need to... Yeah, uh, please forgive the language. Anyway. Oh dear, 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 dear. Um, <laughs> does that do anything? Uh, just water up the screen a bit. It's a touch weird in a third person game, but you know, never mind. Oh, giant spinny laser death. I wonder if there's a way to hit them. Probably not. But yes, anyway. Uh, so, summation. This is a boat racing game. It's a perfectly good boat racing game. I have to say, very, very competent to being a boat racing game. That's your genre then this is a reasonably good one. I can't really go wrong. I mean, it's got no power-ups or anything, so it's an arcade game. It's not particularly arcadey, but, so, you know, it actually gives it a reasonably nice feel. I mean, if you want boat racing, you know, you haven't got many options, have you? But this is, a, this is actually a perfectly good start to a genre, or, you know, late addition to it, I don't know. Point is, this is really quite enjoyable. I mean, you know, it's, it's boat racing. You can't go wrong with racing games. I mean, racing games are racing games. And I got two stars! I think it was second place, actually. There must just be getting a place, what's it called? Getting on the, the podium? The podium. Podium position. Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I'll lock the next thing. Let's see if that has, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five! One's called Tower Defense. And that's an elimination race. Ooh! You also get to... Right, let's have a quick go to the elimination. I have to, because it's called elimination. Do you bash people? Uh, every 15 seconds, the last race gets eliminated. Oh, it's like that. I was kind of hoping I was going to ram them off the side, but that's fine. So I've got 15 seconds to get ahead, and that was quick. Am I just faster than some of those? I have to say that that felt a bit easy to get ahead there. Not like I was doing any sort of fancy timing on these stars, I really did just hold down the thing. Ah, that's quite good. So, there appears to be a reasonable present amount of modes then. Most of the sort of standard racing ones, and, you know, apparently some perhaps less standard ones like this. Um, I wonder if there's rubber banding AI. I don't know. Feels like there might be. I'm not certain though, I'm not, I'm not too familiar with racing games, do you know? Did I just... Did I just drive over him? Sail over him? Wait, can you still drive in water? Is that, is that a word for water? I don't know. Anyway, okay, so it's a pleasing amount of modes. It looks nice, it sounds nice. And... It's a boat racing game. If you want a boat racing game, this is a good boat racing game. New set stops in boat racing. Uh, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Indie Digest. I've been Ding. Tune in next time to see more Indie games. Watch more indie games. Thanks for watching.